Okay, good morning class. So, for today's lesson, our topic for today is about Philippine history spaces for conflicts and controversies. But we can see in this chapter, um, it's all about the conflict and controversies in Philippine history. So, we need to identify them in order for us to evaluate these um, controversies in order us in order for us to know what is correct or wrong okay so we have two key concepts that are needed to the historical analysis in history so first one is historical interpretation and second is multi perspectivity so um how historical interpretation work in 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 on histo in a historical analysis so so historical interpretation is the studying of the past events and also can be seen to make a valuable foundation and um historical in um interpretation also is a factual but based on an on on an accepted judgment and the historical uh, interpretation also is attempt to discover a fragmentary evidences so in historical in interpretation is almost the same as in historiography but it is quite easy in historical interpretation but it is because you are putting interpretation or on some primary sources okay so how can we make sense about the past so making sense of the past is by means of historical interpretation so paano ba to nag work paano nag work ang historical interpretation by means of this so <clears throat> so first one is um all of the historian uses historical in um interpretation so historians utilize facts collected by from primary sources history sources of history then drawn their own readings so that their intended audience may understand the historical events for example um we have a specific event about history um we don't know um what is the main reason about this kind of history so um, all we can do or the historian can do is about they're putting historical information interpretation about that kind of event um, it is because they put an interpretation and they write and causes and effects about that kind of or about that event okay so that's the main goal of the historian while using historical interpretation so but the premise is that not all primary sources are accessible to the general audiences. Why? Bakit hindi ito um, kailangan makita ng, um, ng lahat ng tao, yung mga primary sources na yun? It is because um, hindi siya accessible like for example any kind of government record way back then for example during the first republic it is because um some of the people kapag nakita yon or kung may access lahat ng tao ibig sabihin may possibility na masira kasi fragile na yung mga old documents natin so um ano tawag dito um yung mga um mga historians or some of the people na ginagamit yon in writing um some articles regarding to that um specific primary source so sila lang yung may access so yung general audience is not necessarily na pwedeng makita lahat ng primary source in writing history okay so next one is his Historians and students must be well equipped to recognize the different type of interpretation through historical evaluation. So, in different kind of books, de ba? Um, history books. Dag kabag nagbabasa tayo. Sometimes mayro conflict about their writings, de ba? Na kung saan um. For example, babasahin natin yung isang, for example, yung book ni Ambet Ocampo. He is a well-known um, Philippine historian. Um, so, kapag binasa natin yung sa kanya, 
very different yung um, content ng kanyang libro. While, kung magbabalik